Right, back again. As you can see I've uh, worn it down and chipped it more than I really wanted to do but I think, it, I think it'll be okay when I've uh, when I started the weathering. So this has got the dull coat on it now. It's slightly changed the colour of the um, the desert yellow. Desert yellow? Yeah, desert yellow. Is it desert yellow? Is it desert yellow? Where the hell are we put the thing? Yeah, it is desert yellow. Of course it is. Um, yeah, so, sorry. As you can see, I've weathered everything. I'll bring it to the camera. You can see the wheels have all been uh, chipped as well. The side skirts, sorry, side skirt. The side armors have been worn and chipped. Same with the top. Maybe a little bit much, but I'm going to... I have an idea how to not disguise them, but enhance them and make them look properly. Not proper real. Proper real. That's a real Cumbrian expression, I suppose. Proper real. Um, yeah, so it's come out quite nice. I, like, I do like this kit a lot. I think it's just a, it's a shame it's uh, overpriced. I started putting the tracks on there, didn't I? Just to, just to get the curl and I've never took them back off. So yeah, I haven't put the tracks on obviously because I've got all the weathering to do. These aren't on either yet, so I can get into the uh, into there. And obviously the wheels pop off because they're on polycaps. So so this is where we are at the moment. I do like this kit. I keep saying, so obviously I've, I've added the aerial, the uh, guitar string, which is I do like this guitar string. It makes it so much easier. The amount of times I've knocked I've knocked this and it just it just stays there. It's really unless you really excessively pull it off, obviously. So the next step will be is I'm going to start. I'm going to give it a filter, and I'll be using a AK filter. It's a yellow for dark vehicles, and then and then it's that one there. And the number is AK065. If you can see that, let's bring the camera. Out. That's better. That's what it's going to give a filter. Not a heavy filter, just a filter to start off with, to start the weathering off. So I shall do that. Um, I'm going to do a bit of pin washing. Well, first of all, actually, I'll get back to you after I've done the um, the first filter, and we'll see where we are from there. So we'll catch you in a bit. Right, ladies and gentlemen, back again. Um, I've did the dull coat on top of the. Um, Paintwork, and I've started doing a small pin wash using artist oil paint just for the change. I, uh, as you can see, well, I'll, I'll show you what I've done with it first. It's this is it hasn't dried yet, but as you can see, it's sort of building up the layers on the front, sort of defining each sort of section on the rear. Some of this needs tidying up yet. There's a bit too much black on some of them, but I've got to do a brush where I'm just gonna with oil work it, just dip it in your uh, your oil thinners and take off what you don't want, which is fairly straightforward. So all I've done is well, I'm gonna use these colours when I do the um, the pin wash. We've got a uh, Naples yellow, um, a raw umber and raw sienna and white. So there'll be like little dot filters on each panel sort of to blend them in when they've uh, then the seeds sort of come out of those a bit, leave them a bit longer yet. So you can see where I've gone in with into where the shadows are, into the you know into all these recesses and things like that and the hatches. So it isn't dry yet, it's gonna take quite a while to dry. Uh, so I'll just show you the difference between let's see on the rear, you know, where we are. The rear of the tank, you can't really see that well. Um, so that's the, I'm basically nearly quite finished. I've got to do the wheels yet, finish the wheels, but I've not touched the uh, the turret yet. As you can see, there's not a mile a mile of the difference, but you can tell that between the turret and the uh, low hole, what's been uh, pin washed at the moment. So I'm going to be say I'll be carrying on with the pin wash, and all I made the pin wash was well, is the Windsor and Newton Rome. There we go. And the artists, again, the uh, Windsor and Newton thinners. It's basically 70% 70 
70% thinners to that, uh, you know, uh, less than a squeeze, just a little bit, and I mean a little, little bit. Like I say, it's easier to build layers up than put a big thick layer on to start with and think, shit, I want to get it all off. Just gradually, but this is, you know, <coughs> it's like painting with uh, coloured water, basically. That's what it is. Slightly coloured water, so that's where we are at the moment. So I'm going to do, going to carry on with the turret now. Uh, I get that pin washed, that will be left to dry, and then I shall be starting to pin wash, sorry, pin wash the um, dot filters with the oil paint again and then we're going to blend them in. I'll be using, like I say, the Naples yellow, the uh, Rome, but the raw sienna and the white uh, for different sort of panels just to highlight, you know, different bits and pieces of the uh, of the upper hull. Um, so I think that's where we are at the moment. So I shall say I'll just carry on with the uh, with the turret and we'll go from there and uh, we shall be back very shortly. So we'll see you very, very soon.